meteorologist Andrew Kozak here now. Yeah. Strange 10 years ago. Yeah. And to think a storm like that, its impact still felt. Um, thankfully, though, things are a little calmer this time. I was going to say, they've, they've, we've really built back, but we're always going to be vigilant, always being prepared, always Indeed. looking toward uh, the future. And I can tell you right now, things are just looking a little cold not, out there. Not too shabby. Huh? Not too shabby. Yes, a couple of us will have to deal with temperatures sub 40 degrees. In fact, we even have a frost advisory for areas like Burlington, Mount Laurel. Now, Philadelphia does not, but we do have some areas, especially just north and east over toward Trenton and much of central New Jersey. That have to deal with some frost advisory action that until Sunday at 8 p.m. Here's your storm scan three not coming up with much at all. It was a clear, absolutely gorgeous day out there. Got a little sun coming down. It felt really nice overnight, though. Of course, that means clear skies, temperatures under those clear skies and the light winds will drop very quickly. Right now across the area of Philadelphia, 54 degrees. We have a dew point of 34. It is a very comfortable evening, but it's going to start getting on the chilly side here and some areas already there, including Allentown at 48 degrees, 43 up toward Mount Pocono. The shore coming in in the upper 40s and low 50s. All right, so here's our future cast. Sunday morning, we will have a little fog to deal with in a couple of spots. Throughout the day, we're also going to be looking at a little bit more of that increase in cloud action. By Monday morning, we're getting back into a warm front. It's going to help to bring up a little bit of moisture, and it's also going to bring in a chance to get in on a couple of showers just in time for the World Series. There will be a couple of spotty showers here, but it may be very similar to what we dealt with last week, where we may not see delays or cancellations, but certainly nuisance rain on the field. In the meantime, that will be over with for the most part by the time we get into late Monday into early Tuesday with some leftover showers on Tuesday into Tuesday afternoon. So for us tonight, the next 12 hours are going to bring 40s, a slow drop into the low 40s by the time we get into the early part of your Sunday. Overnight, temperature about 40 degrees in the city, 30s again in the suburbs. It is a comfortable evening in the next few hours, a cold start to your Sunday. And then after morning fog, even with the increase in clouds, we'll make it up to around 64 degrees. By the way, of course, well, the next seven days are going to bring in some, uh, we'll say, upper 60s and low 70s. So it is actually going to be a very comfortable Halloween, 67 degrees on Monday. Of course, Monday we're also going to be talking about the game again. I think as we get into the afternoon, some spotty showers might have to also have an umbrella as the kids go. So do a little trick or treating. Meantime, upper 60s, low 70s for Tuesday into Wednesday. Once we get into Wednesday, it is an absolutely gorgeous forecast with above average temperatures. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday we have beautiful weather. Overnight lows in the upper 40s and low 50s. High temperatures in the upper 60s and low 70s. Joe, Andrew, thank you, sir.